Really, this has been the main question for about a half a decade or so. What if the world awakens? Is this the end? Azeroth was said to be a world soul, we've had interactions with her during the past few expansions, and really, it is about time the nascent titan wakes up. So what exactly is going to happen to the planet once that happens? Will the world just reset, be destroyed and the best question yet, is Azeroth even a titan in the first place, is it even supposed to awaken or is something entirely different going to happen? Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. This concept that Azeroth is a titan world soul is something that was introduced in the first version of the Chronicle. Based on this lore, select few planets in the entire universe have nascent titans inside their core and long ago the titan pantheon went around, searched for them and set up the perfect conditions for their awakening which is how they formed their pantheon. They cleaned up the mess around the planet and put in the facilities required. However, we never actually saw or heard how this process works. Apparently every titan evoked from some planet, but we don't know what and whether that planet even exists or whether the entire landmass quite literally turned into a titan. We do have one exception though and that is Argus, but really it is not the best representation of this mechanism because while we saw titan birth and the planet remained, it 100% didn't happen naturally and it was literally just forced birth by Sargeras. However, let us examine what we do know actually happened. Argus is 100% an ascent titan, one of the weaker ones and was inside the homeland of the Eredar. Sargeras took over the planet and used the immense energy of the world soul to literally turn it into the engine of the burning legion allowing them endless regeneration and ultimately Argus was born. However, we and the titans used this energy against Sargeras and pretty much just imprisoned him with it. The reason this is not the best example is because this was by no means natural or a gentle birth of a titan, but literally Sergeras torturing and abusing it for thousands and thousands of years to have it awaken in agony, plus the entire planet itself was scorched and it was literally the stronghold of the burning legion. However, what is really interesting here is when you examine the actual planet from a distance and how it looked, obviously due to failed energy the entire world is a mess. But this there is a huge chunk missing of the planet on one side, like this was the place where Argus came out and we know even after his birth and defeat, the planet still remained or whatever was left of it anyway. As I mentioned, this is scant evidence as it is entirely possible that a titan could awaken and that there can be no damage done to the land because the soul would be nurtured as it would awaken with its natural ability. This here is also a crucial point, if Azeroth really is a titan, it is obviously going to awaken at some point, it is just the way it should be, like if you have an egg, it is obviously going to hatch at some point and I think the birth of Azeroth is long overdue as the titans set the ground for the awakening countless eons ago. However, and a big however, there are currently two theories that I think are the most likely. First is that the birth of the titan could happen and that more than likely the spirit would just leave the world because my thoughts are that the titan is the soul of the planet but not the planet itself. We have obviously seen planets functioning without titan world souls inside them so it is definitely possible that a soul could awaken and leave and then Azeroth would just be a regular planet with really nothing special to it. The second and in my opinion the more likely and very interesting scenario is that Azeroth isn't actually a titan at all and many things have been hinting at this lately. It is almost 100% confirmed that it is a soul of sorts. First we have everyone referring to it as a world soul and even the jailer himself said and I quote death come for the soul of your world. However, he did not say for your titan or mention titans in any way. The second very strong evidence of this theory is the recent book Grimoire of the Shadowlands from the broker's perspective. The broker 
quite literally said that the titans are known to take credit for things they inherited and want to make themselves appear to mortals as the makers of the universe even though they're just one of the cosmological forces. For example, in their language they use the same word for create and order, so when they order something they make it seem like they created it, like let's say I took 5 puzzle pieces and put them together to make sense, I can say I ordered them but obviously I didn't just pull them out of thin air. This is exactly what the titans have done, they literally took the building material of the first ones, as the broker said the stuff they inherited, and then they pretended to have created it themselves. Additionally, we also know Chronicle is heavily biased from a titan perspective, and when a broker communicated with an Azeroth scholar, he was shocked and said something along the lines of wow how typical for the titans to write everything in a favorable light to them to make themselves appear as the creators and the gods of the universe. Now guess what, how do we know about the titan world souls and all? Well, through the chronicle and titan sources. So it is entirely possible that they literally lied and just how the void lords sent the old gods to claim Azeroth for the void, the titans could have done the same thing, the only difference is that the void is just pure chaos, so they don't care about spreading propaganda and making it seem like they were doing the right thing. So. While I don't dispute that Azeroth is a soul of sorts, possibly the most powerful one out there in the universe, it is entirely possible that it has nothing to do with the titans whatsoever. In fact, it seems highly likely that Azeroth is actually related to the first ones and that this sepulcher that is the keystone of the life and death cycle is located on Azeroth and that Azeroth is the secret that the first ones sought to hide, as Zoval himself said. So we can challenge this long held theory and say that maybe, while it is a soul, it doesn't actually have to awaken at all. You know how old gods conquer planets and they literally turn the entire world into just a bundle of void energy? How the burning legion did the exact same thing and turn this world soul into an engine? Well, what if that is exactly what the titans do as well? Like they take this energy inside of a planet and they literally force it to be born as a titan even though it is not a titan whatsoever. This would 100% make sense as really every cosmological force does this in one way or the other some more obvious, some less so. So maybe Azeroth is just a really strong soul, just energy inside of a planet that doesn't have to be claimed by any force and maybe, and hear me out on this as I put my tinfoil hat on, you know how the legion used the very weak Argus world soul to power up the entire burning legion army that nearly conquered the entire universe? Well. What if this exact same mechanism has been used by the first ones? What if Azeroth is actually the engine of the first ones that they have been using to power up all these cycles they have created and to keep the entire cosmology organized in the char that you're all familiar with? I know. It is a bit outlandish, but really it makes so much sense when you think about it. This would explain exactly why every force wanted to get Azeroth and it would make sense as to why the Jailer wants the Sepulchre. He essentially wants to sever its connection to the life and death cycle, just how we sever the Legion and Argus connection and he instead wants to turn the soul to power himself. Now. Imagine if he took such a powerful large amount of energy that essentially keeps the entire universe in check and then just turned it to his own side and his alone, well damn he would be able to conquer everyone which is exactly why he said that in the future everyone will serve him. So to ultimately answer the question, maybe. Azeroth doesn't actually have to be born and it might be in everyone's best interest to not awaken the soul because it is not actually supposed to be awoken but it is just supposed to work as a mechanism of the planet. This entire line that we were told for years now that eventually it will awaken is just biased titan propaganda because obviously they want to awaken it so that they can become more powerful themselves so that order can dominate the universe instead of the balance of the cosmos being kept. Thank you for watching, check out what other sigils of the Shadowlands by clicking on the screen and also check out the Rose Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.